Well, back home, Law Minister K. Shanmugam has come out to explain what the President is elected and empowered to do under the Singapore Constitution. The statement notes that the President has custodial powers, not executive powers. He can veto or block government actions in specific areas, but cannot advance his own policy agenda. The statement explained that the president's veto powers over the government are limited to specific areas, such as protection of past reserves, appointment of key personnel, as well as ISA detentions, CPIB investigations, and any restraining order in connection with the maintenance of religious harmony. The statement added that the constitution protects the past reserves of the government and key statutory boards and government companies. But the president does not direct the operations of these statutory boards and government companies. Companies. In particular, he is not empowered to direct the investment strategies of GIC and Tomasic. The investment strategies of GIC and Tomasic are the responsibility of their respective boards and managements. The government's role is to appoint suitable and qualified individuals to the two boards. The president's role is to approve board appointments proposed by the government. The president also receives the audited annual accounts of GIC and Tomasic and has access to any of the information that's available to their boards. This system of governance has allowed the GIC and Tomasic to operate professionally and to achieve good returns over time comparable to other reputable global investors. On all other matters under the Constitution, the President must act in accordance with the advice of the Cabinet. In addition, the President is required to consult the Council of Presidential Advisers when exercising his veto powers in connection with reserves and appointments. In business news.